225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, 232, 233. See in this connection Jean Gebser, Guy Dry Sparin, Note 276, and Jessam Tosge, V, page 210 FF. See Jean Gebser, Der Grammatisch Spiegel, Note 176, 1944, page 27 FF, 21% free, page 32 F. Jessam Tosge, 1, page 161 F. Later in Gottfried Ben II rejected the use of like and considered it an empty for Melism, see his Probleme der Lyrik Wiesbaden, Limes, 1951 p. 16. C. Jean Gebser, Der Grammatische Spiegel, Note 176, 1944, page 26f. 21,963, page 31F, Jessam Tosgate, I, P, 161. Rainer Maria Rilke, Note 222, E in the poem, Windung, PP, 24FF, and 309FF, respectively. Werner Gunther, Note 186, 1943 ed. p. 264. Hans Egan Holthusen, Rilke's Sonnet and Orpheus, Munich, Filser, 1937 p. 158. Hugo von Hoffmannsthal, Die Gedicht und Kleinen Dramen, Leipzig. Insel, 1923, page 12. See also Jessamelt work, Get it und Lerisch Dramen, Stockholm, Berman. Fischer, 1946, p. 17. Federico Garcia Lorca, Roman Cerro Gitano, Revista de Occident, Madrid, 1926, p. 45. See also his obras completas, Buenos Aires, Losada, 1938, IV, p. 26. Our translation of 524. The Arts, 234. This, Roman Cero, was published in Lorca Oder das Reich der Mutter, Stuttgart. Deutsche Verlags Anstalt, 1949, page 0.45, Jessam 1, page 119F. Based on our earlier version of 1936 in Nui Spanish Dictum, note 186, page 31FF. Manuel de Faya, the three-cornered hat, El Sombrero de Tres Picos, the Philharmonia Orchestra Con. Alcio Galliera, Columbia Cax 9551-9554, DX 1258-1259, 78 revolutions per minute. In this connection see also Jean Gebser, Lorca Oder das Reich der Mutter, Note 233 p. 49, Jessam Tosge, 1. Page 120 FF. 235 Holderlin, Santilich Work, Gross Stuttgarter Osgabe, Stuttgart, Kohlhammer and Kata, 1951 N, 1 P, 217, 236, 237, 238. We have indicated in another context the use of und and beginnings in poetry. 
notably in medieval folk song and in the sacred lyric poetry of the Baroque era, but this was an outgrowth of different circumstances and occurs only rarely. C.R. der Grammatische Spiegel, note 176, 21% 3, page 7 and 30, Jessentazge, T, pp, 147 and 160. See also R. Probleme der Kunst, in die Struktur der Europäischen Werklichkeit, Stuttgart, Kohlhammer, 1960, page 37F. Jessentaz gave B, page 139F. We have encountered the following six examples from medieval and Baroque poetry. From Ulan, Volkslider, 14th century, und als man singet und als man spricht. Die Herren streiten der Perlich. Zu Hanauf auf der Heiden. And from the same collection, 12th century. Und unser Leben Frauen. Der Traum at IHR ein Traum. We unter Irem Herzen. Du walks in war ein Baum. Kyrie Eleison. Und we der Baum ein Chatten Gav. Semicolon. From a manuscript dated 1603, the lines. Und welche Frau ein Gotzen hat die Schlaf wohl one Sorgen. Semicolon. In Styler's Geharnis, Venus, 1660, are the lines. Und, wo ich durs, Zelin, Schenk. So heisig Pilkerastras nicht. Semicolon. Thummel, 1776, writes. Und W or de Lebens unverstand. MIT Wemmet Will Jennison, semicolon. And finally, there is this passage in text De Mittelalters. Und Weschel were in Sunden get an. The use of and beginnings from a different basis of consciousness evidently does not begin until Goethe, Holderlin, and Heine with occasional instances found in the poetry of Scheffel, Chimiso, E. M. Arndt and Prutz, and continues down to the present in the examples previously mentioned of Hugo von Hoffmannsthal, Federico Garcia Lorca and others. Further examples of this new use of rhyme are cited in Ardur Grammatisch Spiegel, Note 176, 1944, pp. 29-36, 21,963, pp. 34-44, Jessen gave 1, pp. 162-169, Rainer Maria Rilke, Mir zur Feier Berlin, G. H. Meyer, 1899, page 53, in one of the poems from the cycle, Madchengestalten. It is reprinted in his Jessamelt work, Leipzig. 525. The Arts. Insel, 1930 I, page 302. Following its republication in the new edition of Mir zur Feier of 1909 under the title Die Freien Gedicht Leipzig, Insel, 1909. 239. 240. See also Jean Gebser, Rainer Maria Rilke und Unser Zeit, Note 172, page 35F. Jessam. Tosge, B, page 222F. Holderland, note 235, N, 1, P, 374. 241, Hugo von Hoffmannsthal, Tagebuch, Corona 6, Munich, Oldenburg, 1936, number 5, P. 578 entry for June 8, 1906. Jessamelt work in Einzelausgaben. Offsite Nungen Frankfurt M. 
S. Fisher, 1959 p. 143, 242. Paul Valerie, Leonardo Poe, Malarme, The Collected Works of Paul Valerie, ed. Jackson Matthews, Bollingen Series 45, Princeton, Princeton Univ. Press. 1972 8 p 9 b original text reads carla mort osens biologic big party inseparable de la 243 244 245 246 by valerie's italics paul valerie Les Divers Essays Sir Leonard da Vinci, Erz Paris, NRF, 1938 p. 40. J. Anker Larsen, Bay Offener Tar Leipzig, Breckline, 1926, page 64 f. J. Tent and E. Crivent, Claire, De Pindre L'Amour Parfait, A Pain Trouble Par Lady de la. Mort, et les contre-coups légers de la vie et des caractères. A present je dirai que meme. CES ombre n'existent pas dans l'amour parfait. Rien ne change pour lui, later Amy est. Immutable, or du temps, a franchi de la mort, Jacques Chardon, chronique pre. B. Paris, stock, 1940p. 41. Rainer Maria Rilke, Brief aus Muso, Leipzig, Insel, 1935p. 372. The italics in this N. The following quotation are Rilke's. Rainer Maria Rilke, Sui Brief and Grappen Margo Sizzo, Inset Almanach auf das Jahr 1937, p. 109. The letter from which this quotation is taken, Epiphany 1923, is also reprinted in R. M. Rilke, Brief Biesbaden, Inset, 1950 e, page 381, letter 373. 247, The I Ching or Book of Changes, the Richard Wilhelm translation rendered into English by Carrie F. Baines, Princeton, Princeton University Press, 1967, page 297, Book E, C. H. B. Para, 1. See also Jean Gepser, Rainer Maria Rilke und Unser Zeit, Note 172, page 37 and page 224 respectively. The identical attitude can also be discerned in recent psychosomatic medicine. Victor von Weizsäcker has written that death is not the opposite of life, but the counterpart of procreation and birth. Birth and death behave toward one another like the obverse and reverse sides of life, and not like the mutually exclusive opposites of logic. Life is birth and death. See Victor von Weizsäcker, Der Gestalt Christ Stuttgart, theme, 31947 p. 1. In order to avoid any misunderstandings, we would mention here that the quantum Pereri attitude toward the problem of life versus death over determines earlier Addy. Toots. The famous line in the hymn of Notker Valvulus, 840 to 911, Media Vita in Mort. Sumus, which Martin Luther rendered as, though in midst of life we be, snares of. Death surround us. 1540 shows evidence of a resignation and sadness in the face of death unknown to present-day poets. The earlier attitude embodied in the hymn will continue as long as life and death are considered to be opposites, 
and this attitude is gradually being supplanted. The same holds true with respect to the Occidental under standing of the words of Buddha, life and death are one. Here the unitary thought of the magical mythical structure predominates, transferring to death the irrelevance at tributed to life maya. This quotation of Buddha was communicated in writing to the present author by the late Oscar Schloss, the well-known publisher of Buddhist leader. Ture, unfortunately he did not furnish a source reference. 248. By celebrating the imagination, Rudolf Kastner, himself confined to the mythical struck. Ture, has brought about perhaps his major accomplishment, he has brought his predum. Anantly spatial thinking, generation, to an awareness of the mythical time form. Kastner has noted that Rilke did not hold the antithesis inherent in classicism, see Kastner's Book Book der Erinnerung Leipzig, INSEL, 1938 p. 306. See also Werner Gunther, note. 186, 1943 ed. Page 270, note 6. It is only natural that Rilke as a true poet is opposed to antitheses inherent in the conceptual world that can only destroy the imagistic world of poetry. What is significant here is that Rilke did not remain in a state of opposition. 526. The Arts. Instead, he not only accords primacy to mythical correspondence and complementarity. 249, 250, 251, 252, 253, 254. Wherever the subject, or more correctly, the image or anschauing requires it, but surmounts both by the full sphere of being. Of course it does not need to be emphasized that the various poets aspire to this era. Tionality in a variety of ways according to their various basic disposition. Rilke, having a greater magical affinity, and Valerie, a more obvious mental affinity, strive in the direct. Tion of Gian's genuine perception and evincing of the diaphanous. The same constal. Lashin can be discerned in the other arts. Rilke is more closely akin to clay than is Valerie. For instance, who stands in turn closer to the geometric abstract painters, as well as to La Corbusier and Stravinsky, Gian, on the other hand, has a closer affinity to Frank Lloyd. Wright and Alban Burr. Werner G. Onler also emphasizes that Rilke, in his creative intuition, became aware of the miracle of metamorphosis, of the sudden emergence of transparency of the intent. Selly visualized object, note 186. 1943 ed. p. 65. Hans Egan Holthusen noted this transparency in the works of Valerie and Eliot, in Vale. Rice poems The world attains the utmost luminescence and spirituality. Everything is rendered crystalline and transparent, in Der Unbehaust Mensch Munich, Piper. 1951 p. 16. Holthusen has also pointed out that Eliot's four quartets are written in a language that combines crystalline clarity and transparent depth of thought progress. Scion with the power to realize the most intense sentience, Locke, 
CIT P 92 Werner Hassmann Note 150 P 97 Lou Albert Lassard Wedge MIT Rilke Frankfurt M S Fisher 1952 P 162 T S Elliot The Family Reunion New York Harcourt Brace and Company 1939 page 98 See also Jean Gebser Guy Dry SPH 3 Ren Note 176 3 The thought that the future is the co Agent in the creation of our given present is first found, to the best of our knowledge, in the writings of Friedrich Nietzsche, and is later of utmost importance to see. G. Young's Analytic Psychology, that dreams can also foresee or provides is merely a psychic calm. Clement of the integral importance and qualitativeness of this insight. A certain kind of temporal freedom, albeit implicit, is a prevailing characteristic of the poetry of St. John Hurst, particularly in his database. Poets of the stature of Rilke, Hoff, Mansell, Elliot, and Larbaud used their influence on behalf of his recognition. In her, Interpretation of the anime. <laughs> 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 when she writes that, was discernible in the most diverse areas, as the fourth dimension became visible as time freedom. And it was possible to discern this preoccupation, despite the categories in terminolo. These which traditionally would have impeded the revelation of common concerns, via the concept of a categorical systesis which has not only simplified our task but has in fact made it possible. Just as the conquest of space was accompanied by a disclosure and opening up, as it were, of the planes and surfaces of the unperspectival world, so too is. Today's emergent perception accompanied by an opening of space. The eruption of time gradually leads to the conquest of time through our consciousness. This con 
quest includes the supersession of time in its entire complexity. Many of the aperspectival inceptions appearing around us are for the time being experiments. Just as perspectivity was not discovered in one stroke, so aper. Perspectivity cannot be discovered in one moment, yet on the basis of the original manifestations, we can and must clearly understand the theme of our mutational epic. Without such an awareness, no new and responsible constitution of reality can be realized. The numerous indications we have been able to demonstrate as being similar are trustworthy. Those phenomena that are not amenable to spatial conceptual thought we have been able to perceive by our insight into a categorical efficacy, which is not demonstrable by categorical concepts or systems and becomes evident in our unprejudiced perception of structural interconnections and our recognition of cystasis. 528. The APERSPECTIVAL theme. Someone able to renounce the exclusive claim of the mental structure, as mental man once renounced the mythical, does not by any means renounce the mental rational. Like the magical and mythical, it too is required for certain areas of reality. But as the mythical is an overdetermination of the magical, the mental and overdetermination of the mythical, the integral consciousness structure is an over determination of the mental. Its mode of realization is not exhausted in quantitative or conceptual thought, in the mythical intuition of the symbolic images of the world or in the experience of magical unity and power. The new mode of realization IR. Rupts in Barishan, the perception and impartation of truth which signifies the whole, and renders it transparent wherever we succeed in liberating ourselves from spatially bound conceptuality without reverting to irrationality. This need, this necessity is obvious everywhere. The key words reflecting this situation reappear as the basic concern in all manifestations of the areas we have investigated. The openness that is transfigured into plenitude whenever we realize that the disruption of space by time does not lead to emptiness to nihil, to nothingness or nada, but to transparency. By unifying the systems into spatio-temporal synergies with the aid of cystatic structures, instead of spatially bound syntheses, we perceive interconnections and thus overdetermine the space-time world by space. Time freedom or the Akronin. Moreover, by surpassing dualism, we resolve the division of the world in favor of the whole. The whole, which we dimly experience in magic, which becomes visible to us. In the polarity of the world of descriptive imagery, and which we attempt to concept, to allies in a mental rational summation of parts, the whole becomes perceptible. Throughout all domains, origin becomes present. Our recognition of the trans figuration, the trans clarification of the world, sustained by religion, religio, the bond with the past, though increasingly disrupted by reason, is becoming a bond, an obligation to the present, prelegio. The profound Christian truth with regard to transparency, the diaphanity of the world, becomes perceptible. The genuine eruption of the other side into this side, the presence of the beyond in the herein, 
now, of death and life, of the transcendent and the immanent, of the divine and the human, becomes transparent. God's incarnation was not in vain. Religion intends sci-fi to prelegio, and this is intended to circumscribe the profound Christianity of the integral consciousness structure without any theological claims is presentia. Tion of origin, the recognition of creation and creativity, and the integration of R. Lips is one of the numerous and meaningful forms revealing integrity or the whole. This new, self-constituting consciousness structure discovers and surpasses the ultimate and most profound antithesis of rationalism between faith and null. Edge, religion and science. Not only because it becomes gradually apparent to what an unsettling degree scientific theses themselves often emerge from presupposi. Tions based on belief, even the world of numbers and their laws has a limited valid. ITY applicable only to the materialized aspects of our space-time world, but also because antitheses of this kind are not reconcilable with the new consciousness structure. It is in the transparency of faith and knowledge, and not with their aid, that the sphere of being becomes perceptible in its entire diaphanity. We would again refer to the synoptic table at the end of the book in connection with this summary. We have found inceptions of the new perception of world and manifestations in both